Hello, my name is Ryan Dillon. I'm an attorney in Indiana, and today we're going to talk about Indiana business organizations. A lot of people have very good ideas about what would make a successful business, but they aren't always sure what needs to go into making the business effective and figuring out the liability issues related to individual versus some type of corporate veil that would protect them personally from liability. We're going to talk about those issues today. There are several different types of organizations. Uh, most common known are corporations, limited liability companies, and limited liability partnerships. The three in this column all require filings with the Indiana Secretary of State's office to be valid. There are other types of organizations, specifically limited liability partnerships, regular partnerships, and sole proprietors that do not require any type of filings, but it's often a good idea to have some type of agreement in place between the partners or with regard to how business is going to be conducted. Basic differences is corporations have shareholders, a board of directors, officers, uh, and the shareholders actually own interests in the corporation. Limited liability companies have members uh, who are the owners and they may be managing members, they may actually manage the business. Um, limited liability companies are not generally publicly traded. Uh, and then partnerships are exactly what they sound like. The limited liability partnerships provide different levels of liability for different types of partners. Um, corporations can be public or private. They can be uh, listed on stock exchanges or not. But for the most part, you're not going to see that for a, a small startup business, especially right away. Um, there are different tax implications for each one of these organizations, and it's worth discussing that before deciding how you want to act. Now, the Secretary of State provides a lot of these forms online and lets you do the filings yourself, but that's not always a good idea. So why do you need an attorney? You want to make sure that you set up the proper type of organization. You want to complete the proper paperwork to make sure you're protected from liability. An attorney is going to be able to discuss with you best practices to make sure that you are avoiding liability for both your business and personal uh, position. And you want to establish a strong relationship with an attorney you can trust to have on-demand legal advice. If you have questions or want to talk to us about uh, what we can do to help you set up your business, please give us a call at 317-738-2525 or visit us online at www.dillonlegalgroup.com.